Good evening. Now, perhaps I've got this completely and utterly wrong, and if I have, you jolly well tell me. So far this week, we've had a dead body found on the French side of the channel, somebody attempting to make the crossing that didn't make it. That's the fifth migrant death on the French side in a week. Yesterday, there were what is described as 16 incidents in the English Channel, and it's been confirmed by the Home Office that 504 people arrived yesterday, taking this year's total to 21,407. And that's without today's numbers, which will, without doubt, take us through 22,000. But here's the funny thing. Despite the deaths mounting, despite the numbers being almost completely out of control, who else in UK media is covering this? Well, I had a look today at the Daily Express. No mention whatsoever. I had a look at the Guardian. No mention whatsoever. Surely the Telegraph must cover this. No mention whatsoever. The Mirror. Let's try the Mirror. No mention whatsoever. The Times. No mention whatsoever. The Sun. No mention whatsoever. Surely the Daily Mail must have done something on this. No mention Whatsoever. Deaths mounting, huge numbers coming across the channel, no mention whatsoever. And on the other broadcast channels yesterday, there was no mention whatsoever. I think this issue matters. I think it matters in terms of cost. I think it matters in terms of our security. I think it matters in terms of the promise that was made to the British people during and after the referendum that we were taking back control of our borders. And yet, nobody else in mainstream media seems to think this is even a story. So please, you tell me, is the migrant crisis an important priority, yes or no? And you can let me know, as usual, by emailing gbviews at gbnews.uk or tweeting at gbnews. I think this is a huge, growing crisis, and, and my fear that I've expressed before is if we don't deal with this, and remember, we're now in the middle of November and these huge numbers are coming, my fear, if this is not dealt with, next summer it, the channel will begin to look a bit like the Mediterranean did back in 2015.